Cuban artist Jose Emilio Fuentes' latest work is undeniably weighty. For Havana's biennial arts festival, he's created a herd of elephants, life-sized from inflated sheet metal. Like many Cuban artists, he's optimistic that U.S. President Barack Obama will open the way for greater U.S.-Cuban cultural exchange. There really is a general feeling of hope, he says. It's nothing official, nobody has said anything, but it's what you feel. With this gallery in Old Havana, artist Raul Cordero agrees. I think anything could be better than Bush, first of all. In 2003, when President George W. Bush tightened restrictions on Americans traveling to Cuba, fear of steep fines stemmed what had been a steady flow of artists and collectors between Havana and New York. Everything from one day to another was forbidden, so people got afraid of it, and they just didn't come anymore. We couldn't go. Cordero, who once lived in New York, was denied a visa by the U.S. government, but now he's optimistic. Actually, nothing has changed yet, but people's, people has hope. Now, you won't find it written up on any of these billboards here, but that's the unwritten theme of this biennial, hope. Now, compare that with the feeling of isolation at the last biennial, which some Cuban artists jokingly dubbed the national biennial, because they said so few people had come from abroad. This show of New York artists in Havana is a sign of the changing times. It's the first big group exhibit of U.S. art here since the 1980s. Here, silhouettes of Obama and Fidel Castro face each other. Nearby, a replica of a Cold War-era military command desk. He's actually made it a little bit harder. So Curator Alberto Magnan saw the market for Cuban art explode in 2000, then virtually disappear. Now he's expecting another change. So I think it's actually a new era where new artists are going to come into the market and new collectors will start collecting them. Yeah! Meanwhile, Fuentes' herd of metal elephants have been moved under cover of darkness. When the sun rises on this plaza in the old city, they're a massive hit. Me and my mom were really scared at first, says young Karina. But much like the artists and collectors separated by the Florida Straits, she and others here are quickly getting over their fear. Morgan Neal, CNN, Havana.